A hospital experiences a sudden increase in infections with E. coli bacteria. The physicians wonder why. What they don't know, the same phenomenon is occurring at other hospitals across the country. But without communication between hospitals, laboratories, and the public health authorities, the extent and cause of super-regional outbreaks are not detected or are detected too late. How can this be improved? Integrated Genomic Surveillance, or IGS for short, is needed to systematically monitor diseases in the population and thus detect related outbreaks at an early stage. And this is how the IGS works. Step 1. In routine diagnostics, various samples, such as swabs, are taken from patients. Pathogens, such as bacteria or viruses, can be detected in such samples. Step 2. If the pathogens are notifiable, healthcare providers or laboratories send an electronic report to the local public health authority. In addition, the laboratory should send the samples to the National Reference Centers, NRCs, for further testing. Step 3. At the NRC, the sample is analyzed using whole genome sequencing, which allows the pathogen to be uniquely identified by its genetic fingerprint. Step 4. All the information now comes together at the Robert Koch Institute. The pseudonymized patient characteristics and the genetic fingerprints of the pathogens are analyzed together there. In order to successfully link the information from different locations and institutions, it is necessary to have the most complete reports possible and to share isolates and their accompanying information. Missing data must therefore be obtained and completed. Only by compiling the cases from the different regions and the genetic fingerprint similarities can be established. Step 5. In order to investigate and stop the outbreaks, regional and local public health authorities supported by the Robert Koch Institute, need to gather more information to identify possible sources of the infection chains. Thanks to the good cooperation between hospitals, laboratories, and the public health authorities, IGS helps to get an early and better overview of infection transmission. In this outbreak, the starting point of local transmission chains can be identified as a food product Public authorities can respond better and faster based on this knowledge. For example, by taking additional hygiene measures or removing the common cause of the outbreak. As a result of the measures, the number of patients in the hospital is gradually decreasing. With the help of the IGS, the outbreak could be stopped.